at the dog show. This is Patrick at Pals. Well, we've got the carrier installed into the differential. Now you can see the ring is in, of course the pinion is behind the ring. And over here, I'll get in a little bit closer, you can see these yellow, this yellow paint that Jim's got on the ring. Now Jim is going to use that to set the depth of the ring gear into the pinion. If it's too shallow, in other words, if it's too far out here, it won't, it won't hold the load. If it's too deep, it'll burn itself up. You've got to have it in the middle. And it's it's kind of a feel thing, right, Jim? You just kind of feel where it's at? Well, you've got to feel where it's at. It's got to have certain tolerances of some plate. But the reason we put this guy on here is so we can roll it and actually see exactly where the gear is riding in here. Right now, they're riding right on the outside, like where these little dark spots are. And ideally, it needs to be like right down in the center. Like in the center. And that's yeah, how you tell there. it. It's going to wear it like that. Yeah, that's where it should be. Yeah. And right now, it's on the outer edge of this gear, which won't hold the load. If, if they put like a trailer behind it, it won't hold it. And of course, if you get it too deep, then it's going to grind itself up from the heat, right? Yeah, it'll bind. Okay. So if you've got a ring and pinion, you know, it's not as simple as just putting it together. You've got to actually measure things and make sure that you get the right depth. If you've got a ring and pinion and you need it set up properly, bring it to PALS. See you soon.